recently in Lili Hamid. We came for a cabin trip to the cabin that is behind me. And in front of me, I just have the most spectacular view ever. Look at it. We are in a farm called Polzerud Gur. Gur is farm um, in Norwegian. And the owners here, they own this farm for many, many years, more than a hundred years. The farm is even older than that. And they have been renovating the houses around the main house in the farm to transform them into tourist accommodations. They have three right now, and you can rent the three houses. They are different from one another. We are in the biggest one and also the more modern one. Well, at least when they renovated it, they made it with the best comfort ever. But in reality, this house was falling apart, uh, completely destroyed and they renovated the whole thing. So it was like a massive reconstruction of work and it looks amazing. We are going to be staying here for the weekend, trying to explore the area and show you all of the things that you can do here in this farm and around. But first, I'm going to show you the cabin because it's amazing. By the way, it's so freaking cold. There is so much snow here. Yesterday when we drove here, it was minus 21. And today I think it's minus 10 for now, but it feels, it feels like so cold. This is where we are staying. It's our little house. I'm going to open the door and you go in into this little like hall, entrance hall. So from the entrance with the bathroom, and this is a small room there, this is all new. And the original house is from this part onwards. This is the bathroom. In the new part, we have a room with a little bed and a couple's bed. Then if we continue to the old part of the house, the original part, here we have the dining table. The kitchen has an original um, General Motors fridge, which is just like amazing. And the rest of the kitchen. On this side, you have the living room with a little oven fireplace and then upstairs you go to the main bedroom. The owners also mentioned that this house before it was in a different place. So it's kind of like dismountable and you can see that there was a door there. <laughs> if we go up this stairs, you have a small room with some toys. And then here, it's the main bedroom. We slept like babies. They also gave us two little pajamas. They were so kind and made us a bread for breakfast, like homemade bread from the farm. And my favorite part, they gave us a bottle of milk that was taken from their cows. So this is like 100% real cow milk because they, they do have cows here in the farm. We came across some cabins buried under the snow. In front there, it's a lake. So I guess this is like popular in the summer maybe. And the only way of getting here, at least now, is with cross-country skis. The snow here crystallized. I don't know if you can see. It's so strange. 
we were on our way back to the house and uh, there was an animal in the middle of the road we thought he was like um, injured so I got out of the car just to put it out of the road it was a squirrel and he was not injured at least it doesn't look like I think he's just like very cold and traumatized <laughs> so we took it <laughs> I took it with me and uh, we're going to try and save him, I'm not sure. He's like curled, all curled up in my, inside my sweatshirt. I don't know if you can see him. Hi! Oh, Here's our friend with a long tail. <laughs> He's a bit, I'm not sure if he's pretending he's like dead or if he's traumatized or something, but we're trying to give him some bread. He moves sometimes very quickly and then stops moving. So I'm not sure. So I read in the internet what you should do. So I kept him warm inside like a little cloth. You see him there? Put some bits of bread because I don't have nuts inside a box with dark something covering we have to touch him as little as possible and just leave him there let's see hope he gets better hi everyone <laughs> we just came up into the top of the mountain here in the farm we have two hakebret is right sledges. sledges and we're going to go down <laughs> it's how much how long maybe one kilometer one kilometer long so wish us luck here are our sledges, professional ones with a steer and everything. Are you ready? Yes. We are now going to try this thing, which I don't know the name. <laughs> and I'm going to sit in front and hope for the best. <laughs> oh wow! I did fish! Eu gosto! Oh my god! How was the experience of Taxi Monica? Very bad. <laughs> now I'm going again, but without stopping. No, more. Just. <laughs> Bye. We are back at home. It was a lot of fun using the the sledge and all of that. We will do that again tomorrow and also maybe go for a walk with this snow racket shoes. <laughs> now I'm going to make dinner and for dinner I'm going to make peas with eggs and for the eggs we are going to use these they gave to us uh, which are from here from the farm so they are from their chickens. Regarding the squirrel situation I'm going to show you I think he's doing much much better he is moving much more and he already drank a bit of water because i've dropped some water in his mouth and he drank the water so he might survive guys he's in here i'm just going to take a bit hi <laughs> morning it's a new day and today we woke up early and we are going to go on the sledges again but from the top of the mountain and we also want to try out this uh, snowshoes like to walk on top of snow because when snow is really deep then if you put your feet you just go inside and it's impossible to walk so they have these shoes if you want to go like on the stroll in the middle of the forest with a lot of snow then you wouldn't 
like it can walk on top of the snow. So we really want to try that. The squirrel we were trying to help unfortunately died yesterday. Uh, he seemed to be doing so much better. Uh, he even ate a little bit and drank some water. But then after a while when we went to check on him, he was dead. So he probably was sick or had some kind of injury or some, something like that. He could also be old i'm not sure <laughs> but um at least we tried to help and he died warm and full of full of food around him let's say We came for a walk and then Daniel is stuck now. <laughs> well, we came for a walk on the top of the mountain and they told us that you see that hole there? That's a moose that died in spring? It was fall. Fall, okay. And uh, now all the animals come and dig a hole. So that's why there's a hole there because, you know, it was covered in snow. So they dig a hole and eat the moose that's inside the hole still. And they have a camera here somewhere filming with movement everyone that tries to eat the moose. So now <laughs> probably they film Daniel. <laughs> for another round of cross-country ski. We are in a different track this time. It is so beautiful. It's freaking cold, but <laughs> very, very beautiful. We found a, a place where if you put your feet, you just fell, fall into a hole. <laughs> Look at that. 